Okay, this one is Redmi 10X 5G. And yes, this one got the same MediaTek Dimensity 820 chipset as Redmi 10X Pro. We are trying to check whether there is any type of thermal throttling or CPU throttling on this device or not. To make things easy to understand, I have added Redmi K30 Pro and I must mention that almost every smartphone have an instruction set for some sort of CPU throttling or else smartphones would generate too much heat and in the process may get damaged. At the beginning, let me show you that nothing is running at the background and both comes with this same 6GB RAM and 128GB storage. However, this information is irrelevant as we will not compare the performance between these two because they belong to different segments. Although, we are going to select the same parameters to run the test. Okay, it has started and the test will run for 15 minutes. I am waiting to see how fast the throttling thing starts or am I totally wrong? Wow, that is fast. Redmi 10X 5G is getting into a turbulence. Yeah, it seems like it's already in throttling mode. Are you guys watching it? Performance is dropping down to 80% and then bumping back to top for a few minutes before it failed to reach 100% and now it's dropped below 70%. While Redmi K30 Pro haven't shown any sign of throttling yet. It is good to see that Redmi 10X 5G has managed to cool down and delivering 100%. However, I wonder how long it can stay there. Yes, as expected, Redmi 10X 5G has again fell down around 80%. Have you noticed that Redmi K30 Pro performance graph also started to fall? And that is not a bad thing, cause it is gradually generating heat and the drop is nothing very drastic. On the other hand, Redmi 10X 5G started to throttle within 3 minutes and it continued through the test. Now, after checking the performance chart of this test, this Redmi 10X 5G did perform well as a mid-range smartphone. Now there are two things, will this affect performance in the long run? Whether this is a good smartphone for this price? Actually this isn't a big issue, I was just trying to show that there is throttling. Cause you cannot extract heavy performance like I have tried on this test. On PUBG or on many other games, you cannot select very high graphics with ultra frame rate. But in the long run, this is an issue. Over time, it will get quickly depreciated and if you want something for long term, then I wouldn't recommend it in my good conscience. I know I may sound a little defensive, but if you are going to buy a smartphone with your hard earned money, then you should play safe. I wish this video was helpful for you. Like or dislike this video based on your feelings. And if you can, then please subscribe to this channel.